line up when you have questions ready for Ron. And Ron, thank you so much for being here, my friend. I'm glad to be anywhere, but especially here. Oh, don't be shy. Don't be shy. Yes, I'll ask you questions. <laughs> my question is, why is the beginning so weird? It's like, like in the first part of the film, it's like, boom, boom, bah! And then it's like, yeah, Hot Rod and Daniel, they're just fishing after that. Why? Why did you change the tone of the opening, like a bunch of these famous characters dying, but then you just cut it to like Hot Rod and Daniel, like fishing? That is a hell of a question. <laughs> Let me think philosophically for a moment. Because a movie, a moving picture, has to move. And there has to be, ideally, a reason for the movement. So a chase, who doesn't understand a chase? Or a fight, who doesn't understand a fight? Or a big <clears throat> who doesn't understand that? So writing is about getting stuff on the screen that everybody understands. Mm -hmm. They know what's happening. Mm -hmm. And I think I told you, or some, I told you one of these groups, and you probably heard it before, but it's worth hearing again because that's all I can think of at the moment. And that's called geography and storytelling in the movie. So we're in the plains in the Wild West. In the middle is a cactus. That's my cactus impression. I don't do the needles. There's the cactus. And over here you hear gunfire, hoof beats, and a stagecoach goes by, and the guy riding shotgun is firing, 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 and the driver's going like this. And here come the Native Americans with bows and arrows, bang, bang, bang. They go past the cactus. And what does the audience know? What? They know who's chasing whom. So you've got to give direction to the action, <clears throat> but the action has to matter. You, the audience, need to have your moment. Mm -hmm. As the action takes place, that's a moment. If it's well written and well done, the audience goes, wow. If it's not, they go, mm -hmm. who wrote this crap? <laughs> so that's why what happened, I made to happen, to put the moments and the action on the screen that everyone could understand. A lot of contemporary movies don't bother with that. Time is elastic, so we'll start 10 years ago. And then suddenly this comes up, present day. That means you have to remember everything you just saw. Will you want to? A lot of times, no, I don't care about them. I don't want to see them now 20 years later. But you talked about and you hit the nail on the head about what good movie writing is, any kind of movie writing, that you give the audience the moments they need to enjoy it to be able to process it, that is, decide why they enjoy it, what they want to see next, and to be surprised when it pays off. So your question is, how do you write a movie? And that's the way. So I salute you, seated ovation. <laughs>